Hey you guys, this is Alex, 8675309 here, and this is Let's Play Metro Prime 3 Corruption 100% on Hyper Mode Part 10. Now, we had just got the ship grapple, and so now we are going to go put the pieces of the Thronium bomb together. Now, I just, I just realized that it's like, I really miss hearing the Samus fanfare every single time I start up the game. I really miss that, I wish they could bring that back. Alright, so now we're... Oh yeah, here we go. Now he's gotta go and take out some of these steam bots here. Ah, shoot. Oh, I have invincibility. Ah, come on. I went and I made a friend, uh... Well, with one of my friends I made a joke. It's like we were playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and he didn't, you know, think anything of it. But, um, I said, do you know why... He Samus's PED suit is not in here because she could have that invulnerability feature. So I went and I made my character, player number one, have extremely high defense. So it's like practically, in it's not invincible, but it's practically invincible. I mean, I can easily get to 999 damage and still be able to stay on, you know. It basically, they can hit me with the biggest attack ever and it's just a poke to me. Kind of an interesting thing. Darn it. Um... I forgot the, uh... Well, I guess the way I'm supposed to go, so... Um... I guess I'm just gonna have to wing it. Okay. Oh, duh. Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go. Now, <laughs> um, what I just forgot here is we're gonna head back to the, uh... The observation thing. Oh yeah, then this guy's gonna come through and destroy everything. Yay, of course he still has to destroy that before we can blow him up. Yep, then he's gone. You can jump forward and then jump back just so you can get that little extra help there. There we go. Then we're just gonna jump across here really quick to get that easy. It's like, they don't, it's like, I hate it when they go and they just say, hey, guess what, here's a missile expansion, take it. I hate it when they do that kind of thing, because it's just like, where is the fun and difficulty in doing that? There's none. Okay, now we're just gonna go drop down here. Oh, recently I started playing the new game series, Devil May Cry. I had to say, I wasn't sure how I would feel about the series. It's like, personally, I don't mind hack and slash, but this game, it's odd. It has like a hack and slash style game with guns. I mean, it's just, for me, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's all kind of a personal preference kind of thing. Well, here we go. We're just gonna lift this thing up. Yeah, I love how I can just go from one thing and just switch over like so fast to the next topic. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we're just gonna lift this up so we can complete a puzzle underneath it and then just kind of drop it. It's pretty simplistic on how that works. For the Xenoblade Chronicles movie, I hit sort of a snag. Um, well, if I haven't said it before, one of the videos I went and I watched, you know, I was playing through it, and I'm like, okay, this doesn't look too bad. Um, but then when I went, I saved, and I'm like, okay, this should work out really well now, right? Well, turns out it had dropped a few frames, so some of the audio is lagging behind in just this one spot. So, I'm like, okay, you know, no big deal, it's just that one spot. Well, now, I went to go and capture a piece, and, um, after it was done, I saved, I closed out of it and everything, but then I realized, wait a minute, it didn't save it, because it just left a blank, you know, zero kilobit file there. And I'm like, great. Because that's well over... You know, that's well over probably two-thirds of the way into the game. And you have to realize this is a 100-hour game. So I'm like, I have to play through it again. 
as you can imagine, I'm not too thrilled about that. <laughs> um, I really am not. But now here is important. This is where you get all of the maps. But this one is something that we need later for the next planet that we're going to go to. I'm not really going to say anything for spoiler reasons. But that's where we will hopefully be heading to next. But here we're just going to jump up. There we go. We don't need to do anything, but there are two things in here that are kind of interesting. I think it's these two over here. They talk about uh, Talon 4 and Aether. Um, Talon 4 is pretty much completely clean of Phazon, so we don't have to worry about that spot anymore. Kind of a, you know, just an interesting thing that sort of, you know, finishes the story on that planet. You know, says that, okay, everything's kind of back to normal kind of thing. But it also shows that, hey, you know, these Phazon deteriorates really quickly. I mean, for what was left there, oh yeah, here's a save station. Just I thought it, it's it's a pretty, you know, pretty cool save station with the whole tree. You know, I, I thought it was kind of neat, so I just wanted to show you that. And, of course, the diagram of the solar system. Just kind of something, you know, neat. Just those things that were, if I was just playing through, you know, you wouldn't see that normally. Um, I've been thinking about doing something, um, doing a 100% speed run um, of these three games, because I know them pretty well. Um, I just don't know, because I think personally, I like to take the time. Of course, you guys are sitting here right now thinking, wait a minute, he's going through these games pretty quickly. I mean, how can he be taking the time? Um, I like to take my time in playing games, you know, like, right here I'll show you guys the cool things that I've seen. But I, I don't know if just speedrunning would kind of ruin it, but, you know, I, I am interested in how fast I can beat these games. And I'm thinking I may do this um, alongside Nate 1000 Man as a possible uh, what's the word I'm thinking of as a possible like almost like a co-op type thing except for it's not going to be co-op mm. I don't know how to put it but basically what I was thinking I would play through most of it and then he would play the bosses kind of thing it'd be interesting because he doesn't have the game but I'm also thinking he doesn't know where everything is either so I mean I think he's beaten to the game like once or twice alright well here we have another berserker lord so if you missed this scan at the very beginning get it now um, there's one other opportunity to get a scan up to this guy and that would be in our next area but that is pretty much the last time we will see this boss but pretty much as you can imagine, the fight is pretty much exactly the same as before. Just spam your charge A attack on these right here. He's gonna shoot the fire one, I'm pretty sure, you know, the orange one first. No! Well, I'll just send those two out of my guess. He's still invulnerable at the top. So, we just gotta wait. Strike. Okay, this is taking way too long. You can tell when I get bored. This boss isn't all too exciting, as you can imagine. Alright. Skip that. Two. Ah. Alright. Another round of PED. Get out of the hyper mode before it goes corrupt. Fire. I hate him when he does that. See, he'll start changing up the uh, the patterns and stuff, you know, to keep you on your toes. But you know, even though I'm invincible, I still just jump in response to that. I don't know. It's it's kind of funny. Come on. Yes. Now this should just be enough to totally 
take him down. There we are. Pretty simple. Now he's gonna fall, and that thing over there should activate. Or, never mind, the spinners activate. I forgot about that. Alright, well, these are the old time spinners, just like Metro Prime and Metro Prime 2 Echoes. You just spin. I kinda, I don't really like the looks of these personally. I kinda like the other ones better. But, you know, you can't really have a uh, art direction here, but... Now that puzzle activates. Sorry if you hear like, all this creaking and groaning in the background. My chair is so loud. Okay, well, now we're just going to go and... Uh, it needs to be oiled or something. It's just terrible. Alright, now this is going to open up. And now we can actually call our ship to come in and take this away. Now, just letting you know, if you want to go to the uh, observation, it's like if you pick up anything else but this and the other bomb parts, your ship will drop what it currently has. If you tell it to land so you can save, it will drop whatever it has. So you're going to have to come back, pick up everything again. So I would suggest doing this in one continuous run. I would not suggest... Like, playing this for a little bit, and then saying, oh, well, I want to save in my ship, because you will not be able to. That's just not how it works. Now, judging by how long it's taken just to get this one piece, I do not think we're going to be able to do the assault. Oh, this is stupid. See, look, they have, like, all this cool clockwork stuff. But then, over here, they have this weird energy barrier thing. It used to be this really cool themed uh, clockwork um, piece. It, it looks really, really cool when they did it, but, um, now it's kind of took down because of the, uh, I don't know if it was just because they had a lack of space or what, but, um, this is definitely where you start to see the differences between Prime 3 Trilogy and Prime 3 as a separate game. Um, Personally, I would recommend both, just because there are just small differences that you will notice. Alright, this elevator, if I'm correct, should lead up to that circular room where I told you that that one guy in Metro Prime 3 has his own separate scan. Um, but instead we're going to have to go through I've actually once uh, tried screw attacking through here, and I think I did succeed once. Once, so don't ask me to do it again, because I probably won't. <laughs> Um, but this is actually pretty simplistic on how to get through. Um, the only one that will probably give you trouble is that guy right there. But, in other words, he's pretty simplistic, just spam. Wait for it to explode. Ouch. Well, that's why I wasn't exploding. There we go. But, just go through like this to every single one. Pretty simplistic. I don't understand why there's no zip lines here, but maybe this is just because the zip lines broke off or oh there they are, never mind. Oh duh. Oh shoot. Forgot about that giant ship there. Ships don't stand much when you have the PED, but there we go. Now this one, it's timing, right? So I would start jumping like when you start seeing that just pass. There we go. And then, of course, you just do this the same way. Now, this obviously doesn't tell us what's going to be in this building. Oh my gosh, look at that. I was completely wrong. It tells us exactly what's inside this building. Right? You should recognize these. Yeah, only these actually kind of fall apart. Now in here, there's a save station if you need it. I'm going to continue walking through. Now here, there's actually a couple easter eggs, kind of neat um, little things. We can't go through there yet. Like right here, I love this, because they bring back this guy. Yeah, you guys remember Frigidorfian, look, and it's the exact same thing, because he, all the parts float around exactly the same inside the tank, so I think this is the exact thing that you saw in Metro Prime on the Frigidorfian. 
maybe downscaled, but I mean, it's, you know, technically the same thing. Now here we have Metroids. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun to have that latched onto your face? Now, I mean, this is your first, um, real encounter with Metroids in this game. Um, they are, a, a, they're ex a very different from what we've seen before, but they're also a lot creepier than we've seen before. Yeah. Um, that, that pretty much says it all. <laughs> I hate that. Um, I hate their shrill cries from Metro Prime and Metro Prime 2 Echoes, but that just makes it worse. Much, much worse. Yay, you can't step outside of this area. Um, now you guys might be like, wow, he really memorized it. No, I did not. <laughs> I was just about to say something, but I just said it was wrong. Yeah, this is where I need to go. Um, in this area, my best hint to you is watch your map. Your map can lead you um, everywhere that you need to go, really. Okay. Here we go. Let's bomb this vent. Go right on through. Some more beams. Now, why are we coming through here? This whole area, this whole maze-like area is to get here. So we're like, okay, right, what, what's here? Well, first of all, we have an energy cell. Our second one. But when this turns off, we have the ability to get this. Of course, this also shuts the door. Now, my question is, do you think Sam ever thinks these things through? Well, I guess as she's kind of the person playing. I don't think we do. Because w what else was that powering to think, huh? Then anyway, we got our secret missiles. But as I was saying, what was that powering? Because I think, you know, that might have been not just powering this containment field, but maybe all of the containment fields. Now, secret missiles work the same exact way. You just hold down the missile button and go. But of course, as you can imagine, this creepy music really is not a good sign. And of course, you can always hear the Metroids, too. There are shrill cries. Always keep an eye on the floor, because you can see them going underneath you. It kind of adds to the effect of the area. There we go. I would suggest using phase on, on these guys. Missiles are very ineffective. These are called phase metroids because they can phase in and out of reality, essentially. So here, I'll show you. Every once in a while, you can get a good hit. And so you can uh, freeze them. But otherwise, it's pretty... Um, yeah. But if you guys notice, um, all of these are off. Great. Um, I'm just thinking, get to the right areas. Avoid the right things. Shoot. And we don't even have to face a stupid Metroid. Right? Shoot. That is only, of course, if things work out correctly on the Seeker Missile's end. There we go. Ouch. Keep them at bay. There we go. We got an energy tank. Perfect. Say hi to these guys once more. And now we're leaving here forever, because I really don't like Metroids. Don't go in that room, by the way, where we just came from, because now there are Metroids everywhere in there. Of course, there are Metroids everywhere up here, too. Except for... right here. I don't understand. How come they didn't come here and kill this space pirate? 
Oh, it's just one of those unanswered questions, because they're already outside. How come they just didn't come up here? Here we go. Just avoid all these Metroids. Pretty simplistic. None of them will hit you as you're actually going through the zip line. Shoot. Morph ball. Go. That, that's probably my best hint to you right now. There we go, and now we're into this door. Yeah, I may recognize this room. This is the first part of the th this is the second part of the Thronium Bomb. Ooh, hey look, missile. Forgot about that one. Alright, so now we're just gonna charge this up. You need to hit all four at the same time. Darn it. There we go. These other ones are pretty simple, I believe. You can hit them just from down here. Yep. This one right here, too. Darn it. Come on. There we go. Now when all those are done, the top hangar bay should open. Thus, allowing us to command our ship to come pick up. And they even, and they even, of course, lead us in the right direction to leave. Thank you, Nintendo. Just, of course, pick up extra stuff as you can. Always important to keep your health and ammo up. Here we go, and now we're gonna walk. Well, I guess ride. I don't know why I said walk. through this awesome morph ball tunnel with a lot of moving parts. And then down the screw attack wall, which we conquered last time. I don't understand how that works, but okay. Um, we're just gonna go right through. Now we need to collect that last bomb part, and if you guys remember what that looked like... And if you guys also remember where that one spot was where I thought the wires were 2D, that's exactly where we're going. It should be right on the other side of this, um, on the aura unit, there should be another cannon that will fire us halfway across the map. There, we will find that other piece. Trying to get around those puffers without blowing them up. It's kind of hard to talk and concentrate at the same time. Hello, or unit. But then we'll find that other piece, and then... I'm thinking I may call it early, because this next spot's going to take quite a bit. Because we're going to begin our assault on the seed. Which is a lot of fun, actually. Um, I can't remember how hard it was, actually, in this mode. But I know, uh, in most modes, it's pretty fun to go through it. Alright, I better unlock this door for next time we come through here. Because I'm probably going to be saving right then and there. But anyway, this is the spot where we need to go to. You know, how come Super Missile supports, uh, sorry, Seeker Missile supports five missiles? Instead, we've only been required to use four. I mean, I don't think there's been a five, has there? There we go. Ah, oh, here's a five. And I, I guess the doors were five, too. And we're gonna shoot that. 
thus unlocking the last piece. There we go. Let's call our ship. Now, as I said before, after you spent all the time putting this together, do not go and take it apart, please. Do not call your ship to go land somewhere so you can save. That would just be pointless at this point. Okay. The Therodian bond is complete. We are now ready to execute the final stage of our plan. Place the bomb in the cargo hold of the Spire pod. We will mark the Spire location on your map. Please hurry. There is no time to lose. Okay. I didn't really want to go through the cannon there because I would have interrupted that and then he would just start over when we got to the next area. So I figured just, you know, let him, let it come out now before later. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is we're just going to drop this off into the pod. Then you're free to go wherever you want with your ship. Um, but I'm going to go and then save after this before we talk to the Ori unit because that's going to be the next part of the plan, which is then going to launch the next series of things I need to do, which... I would rather start on a brand new part rather than do, you know, what's, uh... Darn it. Darn it. That got me damaged, too. That's not cool. Ouch. Not having a good timer. Okay. A little bit. Huh. It's just a little bit odd there that we was kind of dropping some frames a little bit. Alright, let's drop this off. Now, I, I didn't think it would open like this, but I think it's kind of cool. It opens up, and you just kind of drop it inside. I mean, I'm like, to, to compare your ship and that bomb to this thing, it makes it look really small. Gently drop it. I love how gently your ship drops it. I mean, I'm like, that's precise. So there we go. Now that the bomb is in place, return to the AU chamber so that all right, final stage of the plan. Now, I just thought about this. What happens if he locks the door on us so we can't go through and save? Let's hope he does not do that. Come on, Ari unit. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Whew, okay. I, I was thinking about this the other day. These doors... They highly, highly resemble the doors of Metroid Prime, right? The next area we're going to go to, they highly uh, look like the doors from Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I mean, I can understand with these doors because, you know, Chozo, they share similarities. But between that and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, I'm like, hmm. You'll see why I think of this, because even throughout the Galactic Federation base that they have there at the beginning, it's still the same doors. That's why I like here where they kind of change it up a little bit, you know, different doors for different people. Like, you know, it makes sense. Alright, but here we are. It is the end of part 10. So, into the, and so the next part, we will be actually going on an assault against the Seed, where we're going to actually blow up, yes, blow up the shield, where that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then we should just tackle, um, that should be one part, even if it's really short, it's going to be this, that one part, because the main boss of the area is going to take a while, kind of like the Mognir, so yeah, that boss is going to be interesting, so... That's how it's going to be. Next part, bomb. Next part, boss. Then the next part after that, it's new area. Alright. Well, this has been Celix867309. Thanks for watching.